Need to go 12 and 0. Spotlight challenges, spotlight sim challenges, evolve cards, and more. Go contact Rose NBA on Twitter now for some fire services. The link will be in the description. Yo, yo, yo. What is up, you tube? It's your boy, Mr. Heat. Back at it again with another fire video. I appreciate all the clicking on this video today. Hey, if you want to join Heat Wave, Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down low. Now, I want to have a serious talk with you guys before you guys get screwed over in the first day of NBA 2K21. Now, what I want to, want to mainly talk about, and I talked about this in my Madden uh, 21 Ultimate Team. Um, it's going to be kind of like the same thing I talked about there, but just for 2K. Now... There is three editions, I think three editions or four editions of 2K. There's a Mamba Forever, there's a Standard, and I think there's a Legend one, I believe. Now, with that being said, does it matter which one you get? Now, of course, if you want to play it earlier, yes, it does. And there's some, you know, some more, some more extra things you can get with it. Like... In my opinion, is it better? Yeah. I, yeah, I'd say it is. But, there's something we need to talk about real quick. Now, you guys probably watch a bunch of YouTube. I mean, you're on YouTube right now. Maybe not a bunch, some, doesn't matter. You come on YouTube, and you look at these content creators on 2K, and you're like, wow, dude, they have the best team on day one. Don't follow that most content creators I'm gonna keep this I'm gonna keep it straight up with you either buy MT or open tons and tons of packs especially day one nine times out of ten it's open a bunch of bunch of packs day one and you know what they do with all those packs and the thing the same thing that you should be doing if you open packs day one is selling everything and the reason why I say sell everything is because those prices of that little amethyst you just pull that's 50 60 70 hundreds 100 plus K that same am amethyst in less than a month just decreased by more than 50 percent I get it and I get it you you want the best team but listen to me you do not need the best team what you guys need to do and it's the same thing I speak for Madden please do not fall into the trap of having the best team do not fall into that, that trap there's a there's a species of life we go through you know what I mean there's a, there's a there's a speculation we go through and what I live by you want to make more coins or money then you wanna spend more coins or money if you can't spend it and you can't buy it twice don't buy it at all you feel me if I can buy 200 300 dollars with the packs and I know if I wanted to I could double that and buy 600 dollars with the packs the me, 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 I mean, I, I still wouldn't. It's not valid, but for content creators, yeah. Now, what you need to do day one is, if you do open packs, some people are lucky too. Some people don't. If you don't, you need to instantly jump on, open your open your welcome packs, and start grinding. I'm talking about grinding domination. Which is huge in the first month and a half, month and two months, three months. Huge. The triple their offline, the rewards. You guys want the rewards? Make sure you get your daily login rewards. We'll keep looking at my videos to see if there's locker codes. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe, and come back for locker codes. You feel me? That's free stuff, free content, man. So you go and. You grind. That's especially if you're not opening packs. You go open your empty, do whatever you need to, grind. 
Don't worry about going to auction block. Seeing what gold cards I can buy, what silver cards I can buy. Stop. Stop. Go and grind, please. People who are buying packs. Sell everything you get. Save up that MT. Rack up that MT. And go do the same thing that people who aren't buying packs are doing. Grinding. Because the more and more you grind, the more and more MT you have saved up. And then you know what you do? Every time you make a purchase, find a way to get even more MT than that purchase was. If that's even opening packs, or that's you know grinding a little bit more, let's say you need a 10k purchase. Grind something out for 20k, and then make that 10k purchase. You feel me? You still got that 10k left. And then you can build it back up again. It's very, very simple. It's it's like real life, man. I'm not, like, if I could be a financial advisor, I wouldn't. Because, because I don't want that job. I'll be honest. But when it comes down to locking things in, and this is huge. For me, and content creators, I know we all think the same. We want to race to that right there. We're racing to Anthony Davis. We're racing to Dwayne Wade. We're racing to Sabonis. We're racing for those tokens and we're stacking up our tokens because we want to go ahead and we want to race for these cards right here. Hopefully better cards than the words this year. <laughs> LOL. But that's what we want to do. Now A regular person that doesn't buy that much packs, doesn't buy that much MT, shouldn't be worried about doing that. Now, if you want to, now if you want to step up your grind even more, and you want to try to get that Anthony Davis too, man, you go for it, bro. You go for it. Just make sure you're not getting drained, your energy drained, your waste. Don't make sure you make sure you're not wasting time. Me. I will be going for the collector's levels, 100%. Now when it comes to locking things in, I do not condone any actions locking things in. Do I lock things in? Heck to the yeah. But I also create content. I gotta create content, you know what I mean? To get cards like the Goat Cream, get a gameplay on them. So I had to lock some sets in, you feel me? I need tokens. You know wanna know why? Because I'm content creating to make gameplays on token reward market players. Trust me, trust me. I would rather, honestly, like, most of these cards are locked in and most were used for a gameplay. I would much rather honestly have four, 4 million MT at this point in the game right now because I saved up all the way. You feel me? I saved up. I just went on a spinning spree. You know what I mean? 4 million MT. Got myself go point guard, Le you know, go LeBron, point guard Giannis. Oh, yeah. I got goat Vince. Like, I got all this. You know what I mean? Because I saved up throughout the game. But. Not while I was saving up, also, I was also building a team that is good enough to compete. Let's talk about one thing, too. 2K. 2K has done an amazing job making content and things grindable this year. You feel me? You got the Goat Kobe, Goat Curry, Goat Bird. You know what I mean? 2K did a very good job. The sim, you know, the regular spot, spotlight challenges uh, right here. They, they did a very good job. They did a very good job. So hats off to e, to 2K. Um, you know, you, you could get that Brandon Roy for free by just grinding and grinding and grinding. 2K did a hats off job to them. I give them their props. Um, but getting caught in traps like this or this or even this mark eaton bro 
I did that. Yeah, I did that, bro. Don't, stop making fun of me. Seriously. Or this. Yeah. I did that, bro. Stop making fun of me. Getting caught in traps like that is not the way to go. You know what I mean? It's just not. So what I beg for you to do is throughout the game, I'll tell you this right now. Make more money than you're spending money. That's the moral of the story. And that's all I really got to say. Keep that in mind throughout your whole game. Make sure your team's competitive. At the start, grind. Don't worry even about online. Don't worry about making your team competitive. Grind. And then when you want to start competing, make sure you have enough coins. So when you spend coins, it looks like you barely took a hit in your coins. You feel me? Anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. You guys have been amazing. Hey, if you want to join the heat wave, hit that like and subscribe. I appreciate y'all and peace.